welcome into this Boostus Arena here in Randolph, Massachusetts for tonight's Bay State Conference matchup between the Natick Red Hawks and your Braintree Wamps. I'm Jeff Post here for BCAM TV. Braintree coming in at 5-4-2 overall, 5-2-2 out of the Bay State carry. Natick 7-5-1 overall, 4-5-1 on the other side in the Bay State Purgate. Braintree is coming off a disappointing loss to Newton North last week, 3-2 to the final score. Newton North, not a strong team, had only a couple of wins coming in, and now a couple of them on the season are both against Braintree. The Wolves were scheduled to play Wellesley this past Saturday, but the game was postponed to later on in the season due to the snowstorm. That loss to Newton North was just the Wamps' first at home here in the Zapustis this season. So they'll look to get back on track on um, what's a very improved Natick team from a season ago. Natick last year qualified for the tournament but was only a 500 record, 8-8-4. And, and as I said, coming in 7-5-1, and one, they're only a win away from matching their overall record from just one season ago. Natick themselves coming off a 2-2 two -to -two tie. That was against Brookline, Newton South. So they did play on Saturday afternoon. Pretty high scoring team, 33 goals on the year while only giving up 25. Braintree on the negative side of the plus minus. They've scored 28 and given up 33. Well, I'm still looking for the final eight points in nine games remaining this season in order to qualify for the tournament. That's including tonight's game against the Natick Red Hawks as we get set to go here. Braintree and Natick in their first and only meeting this season. Tonight is actually the Nathan Beliga Game of the Week, which is a new kind of promotion here or charity event that the Braintree Student Council is putting on. Nathan Beliga was a Braintree student. He would have been a senior this year, but unfortunately passed away due to a battle with cancer in 2012. The student council at Braintree High School has designated one game each week to be the game of the week and every dollar that is spent on student tickets at the game of the week this season will go towards a scholarship in Nathan's name. If you want to find out more information about the program, check out the student council's Twitter page at Womps underscore Stuco. Let's meet first. The starters for the visit made at Red Hot will be senior defenseman number seven, Rachel Kutak, a senior defenseman number 13, and captain Laura Sears, a sophomore forward from number four, Alexis Reisner, a sophomore forward for number eight, Nicole Segale. And in goal will be the sophomore goaltender, number one, Kat Stein, under head coach, coach Bruce Ilhoff, assisted by Kristen Stewart and Michael Hague. And for the home Wamps, will be the senior forward and captain number 12, Ashley Siriani. The junior forward, number 15, Jackie Haw. The sophomore forward, number 13, Nicole Norton. At defense, it will be the senior defenseman, number 7, Hannah Fenton. And the junior defenseman, number 5, Alessandra Summers. And back in net will be the senior goaltender, Molly Devlin, as we pause briefly here for the playing of our national anthem. Braintree is under head coach Kevin Burchill, assisted by Steve Trocki and Amy Cushion. Natick will be in the road, red jerseys with the white numbers and blue trim. Braintree in the home white with the blue numbers and trim and sets a face off. Again, Womps coming in 5-4-2 overall, 5-2-2 two two in the Bay State. Natick 7-5-1, 4-5-1 in the Bay State. Womps trying to get back on track after an ugly loss. 
So Newton North won that. Head coach Kevin Birchall was not too happy with the performance of his players, and hopefully after the extended break missing Saturday's affair that was scheduled with Wellesley, should get them back on track. Fifteen minutes is on the clock here to start the first period. Braintree has taken to the ice, and Ashley Siriani actually missed one of the starters for Natick. The other defensive fair and be freshman number nine, Lauren Jackson, as Molly Burns wins that faceoff for Natick, and they'll start off moving right to left. This one batted up in the air by Sirianni. Burns trying to take it away. And Braintree pushes it across the blue line first in the native territory, immediately cleared out by Jackson. Pinned up right in front of Braintree's bench. This one skips back into Womp's territory. Natick gets it back on the forecheck. Alexis Reisner, a sophomore forward, sends it around the boards. And Siriani will take it out. She gets knocked down from behind. Jackie Haw tries to clear it. She does. This one gets past her. Nada comes out for a change. Devlin makes her first save of the evening. Fenton will start things off. Pushes up to Deirdre Burchill, the team's leading scorer. But she's cut off by Sears. Sears rattles it around the board to the near side. Pass off the mark, taken away by Yaxter. The junior forward, Peyton Yaxter, has it immediately stolen back. Coming down the far side to the right wing faceoff circle. Centering pass was there. Not a very strong shot from the freshman, Nicole Maxwell. And Devlin extends out to make the save. Face-off coming up here in the left-wing face-off circle. Kutak, captain for Natick, facing off against Birchill. Loses that one, though. Natick able to get it back in a rout. Stolen away. Braintree with an opportunity. That's Megan Stimson. Kicks back out up top. McGordy sends one down low. Stimson trying to come over and play at Virtual in the area as well. It's pinned up down in the corner, and Nadek comes out of the pile with the puck. This one, long pass across the blue line, and it will wave off the icing. A little bit of a burst of speed pit here, put on here by Andy Lee. She's going to take it all the way across herself. Lee, down low to the far corner, dumps it off to Siriani, hands it off to Yaxter, and Nadek breaks up. Set up there for Braintree. He did a nice job coming over, at least initially, to try and keep that alive. Natick takes it away, and they muscle their way past Burchill. Maddie Metcalf on that far side. Then she has it knocked away. And from the walk the other direction. Siriani with a burst of speed down the near side. Back by the Zamboni door. Centering pass a shot and a save by Stein. Good look there. On the pass from Siriani, trying to get it to McGordy right in front of the net. Fenton keeps it alive. Natick will take it behind their own net off the stick of Sears. Reisner has puck bounce off of her stick. Sophie Burr comes over to play it for the Red Hawks. Jackie Haw trying to. Keep this alive. Kicks back outside to Fenton. Summers in there as well. Fent or Summers rather. Sent it in towards the slot. And it's taken away by Sears. Sears looking to go one on two. Trying to contest Fenton who loses her stick trying to poke check it free. And then Sears gets pinned up along the boards. Burchill stops on a dime. Outlet pass here. Looking to push it up to Stimson. She has it poked loose momentarily. Nadek takes it back, dumps it in, coming over to play it for the Wumps is Lee. And 
this one again, stuck up in the corner here. Made it gains control. That's Michaela Quigley. Back outside Sears in front of the blue line. That one off the stick of Burchill. Pops up in the air and is tracked down by Emma Duffy. Duffy can't clear it out, though. Nadek doing a very good job on the forecheck. Even better work here by Burchill. Odd man rush here. Burchill and Yaxter. Yaxter will stop. She takes a shot. And it's wide to the right of the net. And we are, as the net pops off of its pegs here, we're going to stop it. Face off be coming up in Natick territory. 10.33 left to go here in the first. Virtual matching up with Quigley. Virtual wins it. Gets the puck over to Yaxter. Yaxter through a crowd is, has hers knocked loose. It finds Virtual who sends one in and off the rebound. Caitlin Yaxter with Braintree on the board here first. One to nothing at the 10.23 mark in the first period. Great job off a of face-off win by Burcho. Kept it alive. Made it initially poked at three, but Burcho doing a great job staying with the play. Got a shot off. And then Yaxter was able to capitalize on the rebound. Made it looking to respond here. Has the puck in the neutral zone. Reisner just barely on sides there. Brings it across the blue line into Braintree territory. Womp's trying to dig it out. Into the crowd was Nicole Norton. Nadek, nice job there at center ice. Open look coming up for Burns. Her shot is wide off the boards. Sirianni clears it out. Cross ice pass by Duffy. McGordy, or rather Annie Lee, has it. In front of the penalty box. Entry will come in, change it out as Burns came out of the pile with the puck. Here comes Burchill. Burchill takes one in right in front of the blue line. That's saved by Stun. Simpson comes over to play off the rebound next to the boards. Burchill keeps it away from Nadek. Nice job again on the forecheck by her. Sends one into Stein and has an easy save. Virtual set to face off against Anna Rausch. That one saved by Stein. Couldn't cover it up though. Virtual tried to get the rebound. Little shove from behind. Gets Yaxter out of position. Greentree still able to keep it alive. Simpson has it. Contested. Virtual just sneaks behind everybody. Comes in, takes it away. That one was blocked though. The captain, Rachel Kutoff. Got a piece of it and stopped Burchill's drive. Nice handoff here. Come wide to the right. Goes behind the net of Devlin. Burchill picks up the open ice. And Yaxter, a little too eager with that pass. It was a little much led too far for her. It was offside. So the face off at center ice. Jackie Haw. Molly Burns. Burns wins this one. Still contested though, and Braintree comes out of it initially with control. Their defense by Sears does a nice job at least to immediately kick it back into the neutral zone. Paw trying to regain control. Around the boards. Nadek gets it back, and the shot in. And that one gets past Devlin. Looked like she had a nice save at first with the right leg. And Anna Roush. I stand corrected. That's Lauren Jackson, the defenseman, in front of the blue line. Gets one past Devlin, and we're tied up at one. Made it immediately off the faceoff win, looking for their second one. The shot is wide to the right. And Michaela Quigley took it that time. A couple of players go down in the corner. Annie Lee trying to clear this one out. Norton coming over to help. Can't do it. Made it 
regains control here. Puck's still very much contested right now. Natick has it in the zone. But well, Braintree's doing a nice job. There's a slap shot drive. Off the stick of Putak. Braintree's doing a nice job in East defensively here to not allow Natick any sort of offensive setup. But they're having trouble clearing. Danny Lee fighting off Sarah Price. Puck kicks out. Kutok with another drive. Nice job from a defensive standpoint was Paul. She wants the puck. And we'll come out for a change. Snake dumps it in. A rush from the red and blue here. Nice job by Burchill. Up ahead to Yaxter. Yaxter had it across the blue line and then lost control of it. Nadek will take it back. Burchill again sneaks in behind everybody. A long turn around the center ice circle. Both are still in control. We're going to center that one from Yaxter. It's intercepted by Nadek. This one cleared out by the Red Hawks, Katie Lucenta. Back down low on the far side in Braintree territory. Fenton's pass off the mark up ahead to Yaxter. Fenton gets it right back. Pushes it towards center ice. Stimson nearly took that one away. This one kicks up and might be kicked out of play or just made it's offsides. So face off here in the neutral zone. Another win for the Red Hawks. Drop back towards their own territory to set up. Pass off the board. They were looking to get it to Reisner. Shot from in front of the blue line is off the mark. That was from Jackson, who has the other goal here. Yaxter comes behind everybody and pokes that puck loose. Fenton couldn't gain control of it, though. A lot of time the puck is spent pinned up on the boards, and that one, a slow-moving slider in front of Devlin. She falls on top of it for face-off. Face off one by Natick, looking to press here on Devlin. She makes another save, and then Braintree gets it out off the boards. And it was Paul. Natick immediately kicks it back in. Red Hawks, in the last few minutes here, have been on fire offensively. This is a race to the clock, and it's going to go for icing. Closest in the vicinity was Laura Sears. Relatively young team here for head coach Bruce Illoff. Just five seniors. Another face-off win for Natick. Got a good time with time of possession. That one off the mark. Braintree had a chance to immediately clear it off with Andy Lee, but she couldn't find it. Nice save there by Devlin. Devlin on all four still. Braintree trying to kick it out. Natick loses sight of it, and Devlin is the only one who can see it, and she falls on top of it. Excellent work there from the senior goaltender. Quigley started that drive off. She had the initial shot that Devlin, I think, made the save with the blade of her skate on her right leg. Hawks are doing everything they need to here on the offensive side of the ice. And another faceoff when Braintree just desperately trying to contest. Another drive. And that one nearly got past Devlin again. Kutok sending him down with authority towards the net. 
Kutak, one of the five seniors and a co-captain along with Laura Sears. Actually takes the face-off. Not often you see a defenseman in the face-off circle. She steals it back from Yexter. Devlin had her glove on top of it, but it popped out and over her shoulder and made it just like that. Takes a two to one lead here with 3.58 left to go in the first. Trying to get their offense going. Defensive Natick doing a phenomenal job here, keeping them away from it. Right back in towards Devlin, and the net came off its pegs, so we'll get another whistle. Finally, the faceoff win looked to push the puck a little bit, at least <laughs> deeper into the neutral zone. Now back in their own territory. Stimson sends a pass forward up to Yaxter. Yaxter with a nice move to get past Jackson. Yaxter centering it, looking for Stimson, who was a little bit behind the play. And she couldn't cleanly handle it. Two on two break here. Leading the charge is their captain. The centering pass looking to get it over to Williams from Sears. And it kicks off with a stick. That would have been a huge opportunity for a third goal for the Red Hawks. Rentry trying to clear it out. Annie Lee sends it around the board. Snadick right there to meet it, though. So contested in that left wing faceoff circle here in Rentry territory. Quigley. Quigley getting tangled up with Sirianni. Back in Braintree territory. Roush dumps it back in the shot. We get a little shove after the whistle. Adick wants the call. They're not going to get it. Lily McGordy. A little physical there at the end of the play. Maybe some frustration. Actually, now Braintree does have a player in the box. But it's Emma Duffy, now McGordy. So, big power play opportunity. Here for the Red Hawks. Beautiful faceoff win, though, for Braintree. And yet, Natick will have to drop back and set up their offense in the neutral zone. They do that pretty quickly, though. Alexis Reisner, the left face, clean faceoff circle, kicks it back outside. They drop it off in front of the blue line, swing it over to the right. That's Jackson. That one, nice save by Devlin. Couldn't stop and cover up, though. Made it go reset. Jackson's shot defensively off the stick. That one, a high-flying one, wide to the right. That was Kutov. Thanks for trying to clear it out. Yaxter got it. It's going to find its way back to Kutov. She winds up. And I think that goes, it did, went under the body of Yaxter, who was still down on the ice from the previous play. Kutak trying to send it down low to Burns. Not clean. Kutak gets it back. Sirianni was sliding into her. Immediately comes off, and Burchill comes back in. Right in front, and Burchill, right on key, comes up and picks the puck off. And is pushing here for a shorthanded opportunity. Just 10 seconds left to go on the power play for Natick. The Axe are trying to hack away at Quigley. And it gets Quigley off the mark. Penalty has expired. Simpson gets back in there. And Simpson immediately knocks it away. Racing over to the far side. Out races Quigley. Seals comes over. And Sears boxes out Stimson and steals away the puck. And this one will drop back in the neutral zone and bring you off a reset. 
Baxter pops it up into the air. Nada trying to glove it down. And it kicks back out in the neutral zone. Final 20 seconds. And this one up and out of play. Into the backup goalie box of Caroline O'Brien. Also known as the penalty box. Virtual loses that face off, but it gets contested and Yaxter comes away with it. Yaxter again trying to pass it though. Everybody else is a little bit behind the play. And Nadek's able to come over. Yaxter sends one in. First shot on net. And towards Kat Stein in a while. And that's the way the first period comes to a close. Braintree was on top, one to nothing, thanks to the Brittany Yaxter goal. But quick response from Lauren Jackson. And then a follow-up by Rachel Kutok and Natick heads into the first intermission with a 2-1 to one lead. Don't go anywhere. Raintree and Natick here in a tight one. You're watching Womps Hockey against Natick from the Zapustis Arena after one and 2-1 to one Natick. Everybody, welcome back to Zapustis Arena as we start the second period. Jeff Poster for BCAM TV as part of our 2015-16 coverage of the varsity girls hockey season. Womps trailing the Red Hawks of Natick 2-1. They got an early goal from Caitlin Yaxter, but Natick immediately responded with one from Lauren Jackson and Rachel Kutok poked one in late. See what adjustments they made. As they switch directions, now moving right to left across your TV. Natick left to right. Fenton pops one up into the air off of Natick's stick. Stimson trying to regain control. Natick trying to pull away with it. Finally knocked into the neutral zone. Braintree right there to try and start it off against Stimson and Burchill. Can't do anything with it. Fenton knocks it back in, but Sears is there to play it. Fenton keeps it alive. We're off the body of Burchill, though, it's redirected towards Natick. And Simpson goes down, no call. Fenton collides with Sophie Burr. Opportunity two on one break here for Natick. They're able to get around one of Braintree's defenders, and then Fenton from behind comes over and knocks it away. Natick trying to get it back on the forecheck. Hard push the other direction. have a stoppage here and a penalty I believe against yeah against Braintree interference against Alessandra Summers so second power play opportunity for the Red Hawks they were unsuccessful on the first one but she did a nice job killing it off and got some beautiful play in net from Devlin that one goes right in front of Devlin. She can't cover it up. Second chance. And it might have gone past her at the very end, but the refs had already blown the play dead. So that goal will not count as Nada throws their arms up in frustration. She gets a lucky break there. The net had just barely come off its pegs. And they'll have to take another face off in their own end. Quigley will take the face off. Siriani, she wins it. Natick immediately tries to send one down low off of Jackson's stick. Set up into the slot. Siriani was waiting for it. She takes it away, bounces it off the board to herself. Siriani with speed brings it all the way down to the end of the ice, sends a shot in that goes behind the net. Natick immediately there to hop on it and take it away. 
Roush pushes it up ahead. Greentree, nice job by Jackie Hoff. Quigley trying to do something from the right side. Quigley skips one in front of Devlin. No good there. A little bit of a collision there on the far side. Down goes McGordy. And so does Sophie Berg. Two of them are still tangled up. Finally, both players up on the ice. One into the neutral zone. 27 seconds left to go on the penalty to Summers. They're trying to kill some time in their own end. Virtual can't clear it out. Kept alive by Burns. Burns goes down. The centering pass picked off by Braintree. And they push it up ahead. Virtual giving chase. Can't catch up to it. And Sears will move it over to Seagal. Seagal. That shot way up top. Stays in play, though. Penalties has expired. Simpson comes in for Summers. And the Womps are back to full strength. Two for two on the penalty kill now tonight. I think Sears is off sides. So, face off coming up here in the neutral zone. Virtual will take it against Molly Burns. Burns wins that one, drops it back to Jackson. Cross the blue line. Virtual and Simpson coming over to try and take it away. Braintree has been playing defense for about 75% of this game, it seems. Dumped in. Wants will give chase. That's Annie Lee. He'll bring it up, and that pass well behind Yaxter and picked off by Natick. Virtual has to retreat back to her own end and bring around everybody. Up to Simpson. Simpson at least able to knock it into the neutral zone, but not before Jackson comes over to pick it up. Jackson bounces one off the near boards here. In front of Braintree's bench. Kicks all the way out to Simpson on the right side. Virtual will dump it in and send it towards the net of Stein, and she comes out of the crease to cover it up for a save. Braintree will at least get a chance to win a faceoff here on the offensive end of the ice. Sirianni and Quigley. Braintree has control out of the faceoff. Fenton sends a drive in. Ricochets off a few different sticks and bodies and stops in the slot. Natick's able to come over and clear them. Sirianni contests it. Keeps it out of the offensive ends. And then behind everybody, Quigley, and then she makes a move past it, or Fenton rather. Quigley getting tangled up with McGordy. I think we got a penalty. Yeah, hooking right against Braintree. Third penalty already of the night for the Womps. This time it's Nicole Norton in the box. Natick has yet to have to kill off a penalty of their own. 10.24 left to go in the period and a fresh minute 30. Advantage. That one was very close off the faceoff. If Burns had been able to play that clear, she would have gotten that right past Devlin. Instead, Natick will retreat back to their own territory and try and set up their offense. The Axer, a nice job alongside Annie Lee. At least disrupt it momentarily. Or Sirianni, rather. That one a drive from outside. Up high and off the mark, off a of Jackson stick. Jackson sends another one that's wide to the right. Made it a lot of power off their slap shots from in front of the blue line. Big defensive players there. You can muscle it in, Jackson Sears. On cue, Sears gets it, sends it in towards Devlin. That bounces off her pads, gets some help. That one flung up off the glass. Rebound picked up by Reisner. Reisner will kick it back out to Sears. She sends a line driver on the ice wide to the left. Jackson comes down low to play it. Whips on that one. Fenton have it. The rebound attempt for Jackson that time off of Devlin's body. Sirianni doesn't know it, but the puck's just 
slowly moving right behind her legs. Finally, Braintree's able to get it out of the zone. They have to change out quickly here. Nada trying to capitalize on Braintree's switch with Birchall and Yaxter coming in. Pass to the near side. Rouse giving chase for the Red Hawks. Fenton comes over and takes it away. Yaxter in control. Cross ice pass over to Stimson. Stimson penalty has been killed off. Centers it. Birchall keeps it alive and then spins out of control after the fact. Katie Lucenta whips on her pass, put it in the attacking zone, and Braintree's able to at least knock it back to center ice. Nadek dumps it in with 8.15 left to go in the second period. Opportunity here. Stimson was looking to pick up some momentum. Her pass to dump it in was cut off. Virtual comes to pick it up as it went behind her, able to gain the zone. Here's Stimson. Stimson looking to center to Yaxter. Yaxter did not take the shot quick enough, and Nadek pushes it out. Lee dumps it in. Entry comes out for a change. Sirianni up to pressure. Nice defensive play that time from McGordy. McGordy gains the zone. Or Lee, rather. And then that's knocked down behind the net. What a beautiful defensive play. And Natick was looking for an odd man rush. Here they come again. That one off the skate of Norton. Sirianni with an opportunity. Stein can't find it. She had her own rebound, and this time Stein's able to cover it up. A few shots she's faced tonight. She's done very well. Yaxter, the only one to get one past her back in the first period. Made it one to nothing at the time. Made it responded quickly, though. And that's where we sit at 2 to 1 with 7.02 left. Virtual wins the faceoff. Should be having a delayed penalty against Natick. We have a cross check on Anna Roush. So first power play of the night for Braintree. See what they can do with it. Well, not too successful on the special team side of the puck in their last game against Newton North. Fenton sends it down low to Birchill. Birchill looking to bring it behind the net. Sears pokes that one free. Fenton has to come over and try to keep it alive. In doing so, the puck got behind her momentarily. She recovers and sends one in towards the net, wide to the right. Lee gets the rebound and good control there by Quigley. Natick wants a call. They want, I think, a high sticking call. They don't get it. They were looking for four on four hockey here. Natick able to clear it out. Quigley coming over. Lee there defensively for Braintree. And Natick keeps it alive. Even short handed here. Lee quickly up to Yaxter. Yaxter. Cross ice pass. Birchall and Stimson nearly collide. Stimson drops it back for Birchall. She whiffs completely on it, and Nadek's able to clear it out. Lee's got to win a race to the puck here. I don't know if she realizes how strong Quigley was coming in. Sears sends it high up into the air. Ten seconds left to go on the penalty. Lane three was only maybe two shots in on net here during the power play. Virtual will race down the other end of the ice. Penalty has expired. Virtual gains his zone, drops it off. Yaxter was a big time trailer. Dumped in quickly by Duffy. Rangers will change out. This one skips off the Sirianni skate. Roach gain control, and Braintree is going to be called for the trip. So just like that, Annie Lee into the box. Uh, Nadek had just recovered, 
killing off a penalty themselves, and now we'll have a power play here. The 130 tripping penalty at 5-11 to Annie Lee. Molly Burns set to take the face off for the Red Hawks. She wins it. Shot wide to the left from Sophie Burr. Stick goes down for Nadek. Clear it out. Opportunity for Burns. Burns brings it out to the right. Tries to center it. And Devlin redirected it at least. Jackson. Burns. That one wide to the left. Just missed. Back outside. Or Kutok rather. Kutok has it poked away. Opportunity here. Um, potential breakaway. But Kutok defensively from behind just stops Sirianni in her tracks. Virchel comes back in. Reisner, across the blue line, dumps it in. Duffy trying to clear it out. Taken away by Haw. Haw will push it off the boards. Virchel wins the race to the puck. Virchel sends it in on net, gets her own rebound, brings it back out the other direction, but loses it from behind. Duffy to Virchel. Yaxter will gain the zone. Now has the puck right in front of her with a net just in front of her. Brinkley kills off the penalty. Fenton dumps it in. Barnes with some speed. Dumps it in. Nada comes off for a change. Brinkley back defensively. That one taken away and wide to the left off the shot. Looking three minutes here. In the second period. Quigley can't slap that one down. Sears comes over to play it, keep it in the zone. Rattles around the boards. Stimson clears it out. Quigley tries to send it in. It was bodied up by Norton. Sirianni, Norton, and Fenton come over. Sirianni comes out of it, or pass to Stimson, pops up off her stick, Nadek able to keep it alive once again. Quigley, a couple of finesse moves with impressive work there from Devlin as good stick work with the puck by Quigley. Face off here in Rain Tree territory. Maddie Metcalf is going to take this one against Burchill and she wins it. Rain Tree has not done a great job in the face off department tonight, which has led to the sustained drives offensively for Nader. Then sent into the zone from Burr. Big crowd there though and couldn't get through cleanly. All the way around the board, Butcher, or Lee rather, coming over to challenge. Opportunity here for Birchill. She can catch up to it. She does. We've got a couple of players coming in. Sends a shot in on Sky. And it got behind her. What a move there by Deidre Birchill. All the way from the other end of the ice. Had to race to catch up to the puck to beat the two. Backing up defenders from Natick, and Burchill gets her 10th of the season. And she just snuck one through the legs of Cat Stein, and we start over at 142 here in the second, tied up at two. Natick with another faceoff win, looking to answer right away. Braintree potentially gaining some momentum here. They can play good defense as they head into the third with just a minute 28 left to go in the second. That one was, oh, several bodies, but nearly got him pretty close to Devlin. I think she redirected it with her own left arm at the end. 
Sirianni can't clear it out. Sears with a beautiful job to dive down, but now Sirianni's got it. Looking to push it past Jackson. Jackson wins the battle and has it behind her own net. Good contest here. That one sent in front of the net. Through the crease, but wide to the left. Jackie Hall is the one with the shot. We're under a minute. Annie Lee tries to keep it alive. Sirianni sends it around the corner. Sears. Made it just trying to clear it out here. Three on two rush here for the Red Hawks. Nice pass through the legs. Molly Burns gets it to the left side. 25 seconds here. Natick with an opportunity. They can set up their offense. Braintree looking to clear it out one last time to end the period. Lee's got it pinned up on the boards. Norton down there as well. Virtual comes over to challenge. Lee still can't seem to get it out. Natick does a good job of recovering, and Stimson clears it out. And that's the way the second period will come to an end. With just over a minute 30 left, Deidre Bircher ties it up at two. And we'll go into the third just the way we started, a tie game. Two down, one to go, don't go anywhere. Braintree and Natick all tied up at two. You're watching Braintree Lady Wamps hockey right here on BCAM. Welcome back to the Pustis Arena as we get set for the third and final period between Braintree and Natick. Jeff Postal here for Bucam TV. All tied up at two thanks to a late goal by the junior captain, Deirdre Burchill. Now in double digits in goal scored this season. Burchill with just the extra effort to put that one in past sophomore goaltender Kat Stein. She had to outrace two native defenders to reach the puck and then just poked it through the legs of Stein. It was great individual effort there from Burchill. But we start over, and now Natick moving right to left, Braintree left to right. This one skips around the boards. Fenton will pick it up into the neutral zone, and Burchill's going to have another chance here. Defensively, Sears comes over and Knocks the puck loose. Virtual actually goes down. Stimson gets pinned up between two red sweaters behind the net. And had a chance for a wraparound attempt beforehand. Fresh Cedar ice. Stimson sends that one off the boards. Taken away by Molly Burns. Burns sends it in to the right of Devlin. No play from the goalie. One off the corner boards. A collision. Nicole Norton got bumped by Anna Rouse, who just fell down after making the contact with Norton. This one pops up in the air. Lee looking to play it in the neutral zone across the blue line. Lee by the left wing face off circle. Harassed by Sears. Tried to send it into the slot. And that one skips out and back. All the way into Braintree territory, picked up by Duffy. Duffy's pass is intercepted by Quigley. Quigley in the slot, sends a shot in on Devlin, pokes up over her head, and Natick on the rebound. Gets another one, their third of the night. Looked like Nicole Maxwell. Stand. 
So Nicole Maxwell, the freshman, gets the goal off the rebound. Just like that, Natick's back on top. Rangetree led this game early, one to nothing. Since then, they've been trying to play catch up. Another drive here and a near glove save. I think that bounced off the tip of Devlin's glove, off the stick of Burns. Back outside, a drive saved by Devlin, and she's able to kick that one back out. Coming away with it is Hall. Hall into the neutral zone, stops. Puck is just sitting right in front of the far door that leads to the Womps locker room. Nadek kicks it back out and down into Braintree territory. Lee coming over to play off the boards to Sirianni. Worth noting was that Caitlin Yaxter left that end of that period early, went back to the locker room. Curious to see if she will appear again in this game. This would be her line out there right now. And Stimson Burchill, normally joined by Yaxter, have Norton out there with them as she goes offsides. Faceoff coming up in the neutral zone. Burchill looking to take this against Quigley. Another whistle as Katie Lucenta was offsides. Another face off here in the neutral zone. Quigley and Virtual once again kind of contested. Bounces back towards Natick's Lauren Jackson and she'll get things started. This one pops up off the glass. Norton looking to clear it out. Roush in the area. Quigley takes it away. Behind the net. Virtual trying to poke it loose. Lifting the stick of Quigley from behind. Stimson can't clear it out. Nice job by Jackson to keep it alive. Fenton from behind the net. Pushes it all the way to the other side. Sears picks it up and she rattles it back to right where it came from. Simpson meets Jackson with the puck. Made it trying to change out their lines. There's a push down that far side by Summers. He's immediately tangled up and he's denied the blue line. Made it back in the offensive zone. Virtual with the stick goes right past the Natick defender in Maxwell. Opportunity here on a two-on-one break for Becca Jacobs, or I should say she's on the wrong side of it, so Lee just casually takes it away. Rachel Kutok has a goal in this one, kept it alive. Nadek gets another one to pop up in front of Devlin. Still down on the ice is Jacobs, Becca Jacobs, the junior. Approaching the 10-minute mark. And that time, a glove saved by Devlin. Braintree fans, be sure to stay connected with everything here at BCAM by following BCAM on Twitter, at BCAM TV. Keep up to date with all of BCAM's exciting programming. Immediately off the faceoff, Nate gets there for it. Four to two now, the score at 10-11, as Natick with another great face-off win. They punch it in. Molly Burns with the score. Four goals, four different scores here for the Red Hawks, looking to put away Braintree. Immediately with another faceoff. Burns looking for another one. That one saved by Devlin. Can't lock it down though. Kicks back out to the blue line. Kutak, or Jackson rather, skips one in. Sears with a drive wide to the left. Back out to Kutak. Kutak's pass poked up and off the body of Duffy. 
Burchill will try to race this one down. She gets up to it, but can't clear it out. Sears sends another one in. Duffy might have kicked that one before it got to Devlin. Burchill now with control of the puck. Cross center ice. Stimson on her right. Burchill through the left wing faceoff circle. Nice box out and sends one right in on Stein, who covers it up nicely. Nine nineteen left to go. Braintree, who had just tied it up at the end of the second period, has fallen behind here four to two. Again, Wamps still need eight more points in order to qualify for the MIAA Division I South sectional. And they've only got nine games, including tonight, to do it. And they've definitely got some work to do here in the final 19 if they even want to get one of those points. Fenton with a blast from in front of the blue line goes wide to the left. Natick finally able to get it off the board with Lucenta. McGordy trying to clear it out. Can't gain control of the neutral zone. Sirianni tangled up with the Natick forward. Red Hawks have just done such a beautiful job at the blue line at keeping the offense on that end of the ice as this one will go for icing and they'll get another face-off opportunity back in Braintree territory. Face off goes immediately at Devlin and she wisely falls on top of it. Take with another face off win. Kuta kicks it down low. They were looking for a centering pass back out to Kuta. Nice defensive move there from Lee to back up Devlin and just kick that one back out. Stimson with a hard drive through the neutral zone on the near side here. Can't get all the way through. Lee came over to help out. Made it quickly. Kicks it back out. Fenton sends it down to the right. Norton giving chase here for Braintree. Trying to contend with Maxwell. Eight minutes on the dot. Up to go. This one skipped right past Stimson. And once again, Nadek clamps down from their own blue line. Doesn't deny Braintree any sort of offensive possession. Reisner, down low, taken away by Fenton, but immediately picked up by Jacobs. Back outside to Sears. Sears wide to the left. Through a crowd, Braintree clamps down on it. And they're able to at least get it back into the neutral zone. Sirianni, who had just come in, tried to take it away from Jackson. Jackson, with a better stick, moves it away and protects it from Sirianni. Virtual kicks it up ahead to Jackie Haw. Haw dumps it in, will give chase, trying to beat Jackson to the puck. Still being contested. Ah, and now between a couple of different Red Hawks, and I think this one is on top of the back of the net. Rex blew it dead. Kadix having a lot of fun tonight as they come back to their bench. And it, they might as well. They've pretty much been in control of this game the majority of the time. They win another faceoff. Immediately in the blue line, into the neutral zone. Quigley brings it across. Disrupted by Braintree, and they have to back off. Natick back on side, sends it in. Womps Lee clears it out. Kutok pushes one in off the glass. Duffy trying to clear it out. 
Finds his way back to Kutak. Kutak was well, looking to get it down low for a rebound opportunity for Lucenta. Not there. Six minutes left to go. Back out to Kutak. Kutak through the legs over to Devlin. She loses it again. But this time it's trapped under her own right leg. So it looks like we will not see Caitlin Yaxter again tonight as a top scoring line led by center Deirdre Burchill has now been joined by Nicole Norton on the wing on the left side. Burchill trying to race down the other end of the ice to catch up with Jackson. Jackson takes the way. Raintree trying to set up any sort of offense. They've not had any sort of ability with a sustained offensive possession here tonight. And we're going to get an offside here as Nicole Maxwell a little too quick to cross the blue line. 5.33 left to go in the game. Braintree running out of time here. Down two goals. Biggest deficit of the game. Nadek with another faceoff win. Sears trying to bring it to the far side. Gets it behind the net. Kind of tangled up here. Out of the pack comes Stimson. Stimson looking to send it across ice to Burchill. Norton there to help out, but she loses it. We got a collision, no penalty. That was Natalie Williams. We have not seen or called her name much tonight. One of the five seniors, though. Coach Bruce Hillhoff might be going into his bench a little bit more here with the two-goal lead and under five minutes left to go. Sirianni gains the zone. Immediately kicked out by Natick. Red Hawks two on two here. Led by Reisner and it's knocked away by Duffy. In the slot, Natick still in control. Trying to send one in was Burns. She goes down. Right in front of the net. Devlin can't cover it up. Kutok. Cross ice pass over to Burr. Four minutes left. Kutok has it back. She sends a drive off the stick of Burchill. Jackie Hawk trying to kick loose. Burchill, breakaway opportunity here. Burchill in the slot, makes the move. She just scores! Deidre Burchill beats out past nine and gets her second goal of the night and makes it a one goal game, four to three. Deidre Burchill is not easy to defend against in the open ice. And you just showed why you cannot let her break away from the pack. She now has two goals tonight in similar fashion. Nadek trying to respond right away. That's Lucenta. And keep your eyes on Molly Devlin here as we approach the three-minute mark. If Braintree can sustain an offensive drive, Coach Burchill will look to pull her for the extra skater. They have had trouble doing that tonight. Duffy clears it out. Sears, picked off by Stimson. Duffy, another nice job to at least keep it in the neutral zone. Stimson came over to challenge. Jackson weaves through a crowd. Dumps it off for Burr. Three minutes left. Devlin with a nice save. And sliding to her right. Down low in the near corner here. Back out to Duffy, moving behind her net. Duffy tries to rattle around off the mark to Burchill. That allows Sears to keep it alive. Here comes Sirianni. Burchill will come out to change. Sirianni gets across the blue line. Sears was right there, skating toe to toe with her. On the backwards motion to deny her any sort of offensive setup. We can't gain control of the offensive zone. Summers keeps it out of her own end. 
Nice job here by McGordy. McGordy sends it in towards the net. No one there for a rebound or a redirection. Fenton comes over. Wintry has to set up again, though. Opportunity to push here for Nadek. Summers coming over to challenge. That one disrupted off the shot of Seagale. Approaching a minute 30. Keep Devlin should be looking to come off here as Braintree gets it down to the other end of the ice. They've got to gain possession, though. Burchill has it into the slot. She shoots and scores! Burchill with the hat trick ties it up at four. What a night here for Deirdre Burchill. Back-to-back -back goals. And with 1.37 left, you won't see Molly Devlin come out of the net. Kevin Burchill will use his timeout. He's thinking win right now with 1.37 left to go, tied up at four. Back-to-back -back goals here in the third for Deirdre Burcho, and she's got the hat trick. Brentry will be back in action, a home game though at Shea Rink. On Sunday afternoon, they will take on Ursuline Academy. Before heading out for back-to-back -back road games against Framingham and Needham, they will finish off the regular or regular season portion of the schedule with a matchup on February 10th against Walpole, and will host Weymouth on the 13th before participating in the Hingham tournament before potentially being involved in the MIA South Sectional tournament, but. Still work here to do tonight. You need eight points in nine games, including the remaining 137 before you even qualify for that MIAA tournament. Braintree is positioned right now and much better than they were five minutes ago to at least get one of those. But with the timeout taken, Coach Virtual has got to be thinking about the win with his team having the momentum. Made it, wins that face off, drops back to their own zone. Contested in the neutral zone. Lee does a nice job. Stimson bounces it off the boards. Duffy doesn't allow Natick to gain the zone. Nice job by Stimson again in the neutral zone. Neither team really to gain either zone so far. Burns comes over. And we get a trip against Braintree. That'll be huge for Natick. With 1.10 left to go, Braintree is going to be shorthanded the rest of the way. And now Natick will call their timeout. So Coach Bruce Ilhoff presented with a good opportunity here to punch in a game winner with the extra skater. Potentially may even elect to pull Cass Stein and really have a 6-4 advantage. Neither team has scored on their power play tonight. Uh, with 110 left to go, anything can happen here. As we're all tied up at four. Yaxter getting the first. Remember, she is gone from this game. Left towards the latter portion of that second period. And Deirdre Burchill with the other three gets the hat trick tonight. The captain well into double digits now with 12 goals on the season leading the team. Got an assist earlier, too, on Yaxter's goal. So a four-point night here for the junior captain. So here we go. Burchill will face off with Alexis Reisner. Kastein is in net. But Nadek's got too many players right now. They are... A little confused. Sears comes back out. They've got to at least wait and see if they win the faceoff. Now Reisner gets tossed out, and Kutok, again, the rare defenseman taking the faceoff. Castine inching forward. One minute left to go. That one wide. We're under a minute. Stein lets them know. Raintree just trying to play for overtime right now. Kicks back outside to Jackson. 
Quigley trying to fend off Burchill. Nice job defensively, and Duffy able to get in the lane and disrupt that one. Devlin couldn't cover it up with her glove, and Lee will come out of it with it, still trying to clear it out. She sends it back the other direction. Coach Burchill just wanted her to clear it with 30 seconds. This one back into the neutral zone. Burchill trying to dig it out against Jackson. Quigley has it at center ice. 20 seconds left to go. Duffy pokes it loose. Kutak coming over. Lee there to contest. Lee between the skates of Kutak. Quigley with a shot saved by Devlin. And we'll get another face off. Hey, Annie Lee had a golden opportunity to send that puck down the other end of the ice in front of the ZipPrintCenters.com sign. And she sent it the other direction. Gave Natick an opportunity to set up again. Burchill and Reisner in the faceoff circle. Burchill wins it. Fenton will send it around the boards. And that should do it as we head into overtime. Tie to four. Braintree successfully able to kill that one off. So, no, I stand corrected. We end in a tie. <laughs> no overtime until the playoffs. So that's the way this one will come to a close. Four to four. Raintree had to fight back, but they at least earn a point out of it. Off the hat trick from Deirdre Burchill, they get a goal from Yaxter. Natick played very strongly, but not strong enough to stop the offensive prowess of the captain, Deirdre Burchill. So on behalf of our camera person, Genevieve Bergnoli, I'm Jeff Poster for BCAM TV. Your final score, Braintree, Natick, tie at four. That's going to do it here for us at the Zapusta Serena, and we'll see you next time.